All right, everyone, Slabber Day Saturday. We're back here grabbing a log that might be too big for our big sawmill. So let's go grab this log and see if it fits. Exciting! Woohoo! <laughs> Welcome back, folks. All right, we got the white oak log loaded. We had to grab it with the telehandler. My yard is super bumpy over there, so we got some leveling done with the quick little, quick little level with the bobcat. Not really leveling, just smoothing out. Really not very well done smoothing either, but good enough. We were able to grab the log with the telehandler. Now it has a safety system in there, and the lights go green, 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 green. One yellow, maybe two yellows, I don't remember. Then a red. Red's no good, you can't really do much. We were on the yellow right before the red, but we were able to drive over here. We then rolled the log uh, to the, basically the position we wanted it. We were able to get it on the forks. It was so heavy, I couldn't really curl up, so we had to put some wedges in the front of the forks so the log didn't roll forward. That is disaster. We got her all wedged in here pretty easily, actually. We put the feet down. Woo! Once those feet come down on, that, on the telehandle, though, it handles way more weight. Shout out to Troy, he's been helping us. Thanks, Troy. You're welcome. She's all wedged in there now. We got a new, brand new blade on there. Pretty sweet. And we're ready to cut. This is maxing our sawmill. We're probably gonna have to trim an inch or two off of the edge, both edges right here, which is not the hugest loss. It is what it is. But we're gonna be able to make a few cuts here uh, without having to chainsaw anything, because obviously the log is kind of round in shape, so it gets smaller as it goes up. So we're gonna make the first top cut now, and we're going to uh, see what's in it. I'm, I'm almost positive it's a white oak. One of three, this one. Oh yeah, this is old. This is as old as Troy's girlfriend. Uh, I could count the rings, I suppose, but I'm not going to. 10,000 years, probably. Prehistoric. <laughs> Just making up numbers now. She's a little punky on the outside, but it is what it is. It's an old tree, lived its life. Let's make some sawdust.
All right, this has been an entire full day of saw milling. Uh, I actually sent Andy back down to the shop to start editing because uh, this log is a full day log for sure. It's actually 4.30, getting on five right now. Still got two more slabs to cut. Looks like there'll be 14 slabs in total. We'll have about um, half of those are intact, fully attached. Other ones are kind of broken right down the middle. You get what you get, what can I say? The lumber looks really nice though. The grain looks beautiful. The sawmill's cut fantastic. I'm on my second blade right now. And for this to be two blades for the whole logs, pretty darn good. Uh, I could push it to a third blade just in case maybe, but I don't think so. So I hope you enjoyed the Slabber Day Saturday. We did not have near as much talking in this one because honestly it was go, go, go with the sawmilling just to get this log done. It even took us uh, the day before to load the log on, make our first cut, and then we uh, got, got to it today. Hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you on Tuesday for another Tool Tuesday. And of course the weekly vlog will be up on Thursday. Next Saturday we'll be back here Slabber Day Saturday. So I got some more work ahead of me before I can enjoy a cold beer in the sun. All right, everyone, make it a great one. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I got to get back to it.